Hey guys and girls, Marcus from Scene TV. We are down at Rundle Mall today for the Adelaide Fringe Media Launch. Sitting next to me on the dog is, of course, Joel Creasy. How are you, mister? I am wonderful. And can I say, this is one of the most fun places I've ever been interviewed on a big fake blow up dog in, in Rundle Mall near Malls Balls. I'm thrilled. Joel is doing it doggy style today. I'm doing it doggy style on the camera, again. All again. for you guys. Hey, welcome back to Adelaide. Thank you. Um, it's good to be here. I'm so excited. The weather is glorious. Uh, the festival opens tonight. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to get involved. I can't wait to have a drink, actually. And you're the ambassador. <laughs> I am the Whoa. ambassador. I'm very, I feel very powerful. Um, I feel like, you know, when you think of like Adelaide icons, you go Maggie Beer, Poe, Joel Creasy. <laughs> well, now, yeah. I know, you're practically a resident here. I really am. You're Actually, I'm down time. here so often that I really am practically a resident. Do you love Adelaide? I love Adelaide. I'm from Perth, and P Perth and Adelaide, I think, are very similar in that we get a hard time from, like, Melbourne and Sydney. They're so up themselves. But people don't realise Adelaide and Perth and even Brisbane, people love to have a drink and laugh, and they don't take themselves too seriously, like Melbourne. Uh, so it's a good, fun place to be. Long bombshell. Um... Yes. I could be your understudy. You really could be. And you know, I'm so lazy. If I had an understudy, I would need, you'd be going on every night. Well, because you get drunk a lot. You I know, do. Like, oh, I've got a hangover. I can't perform. Do you know Call what's funny? I'm sometimes funny when I'm hungover. Because I'm really like, when I'm hungover, my filter, not that I really have one, just completely disappears. Yeah, I like the fact that you pretended you had a filter then. I've I know, seen yeah. your show. There was no filter. <laughs> There's no filter. My poor parents. My <laughs> poor them. parents. Bless them. Mm. Um, so how long is your show running for uh, Blonde Bombshell? It is doing um, eight, seven, seven or eight shows here, and then. But I'm not here till the end of the festival, so I'm very excited. I'm here to launch the show, and then I'll be back and forth a few times, and then I'll be in to do the actual show in the garden. Sweet. And that's yep. when things get crazy. That's yep. when things get crazy. Um, and also, I'm on at like 9:30 my show this year, so that's like sexy hour. 9:30. Yeah. People that come to a show at 9:30 on a Wednesday, they are people that clearly don't have jobs and love a drink, and I love that about them. They're sometimes my favourite shows. That's your kind of audience. That's right? my sort of audience. Yeah. Um, tell me about the show. What are we going to expect? Um, it's a lot of celebrities. It's just the same as always. A lot of celebrity scandal, all about how I'm desperately trying to get famous. Um, I, uh, I'll talk about a, a fight I had with a, um, uh, a, a, another musician, well, another, not that I'm a musician, a musician at the Arias. I'm talking about all the filthy, terrible things I've gotten up to in the past year and basically making my audience feel better about their life decisions because they'll go, oh, that's right, I'm not Joel, thank God. And you're having a crazy time. You've just released a book. Yes. Which is brilliant. Yes, thank you. Oh my God, thank you so I, much. Well, I know. It's more than my dad has, so. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, clearly you, you cover the um, my, 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 the Eurovision. You oh yes, that. I'll be talking about Eurovision in my new stand-up show. Yeah. Talk about everything, yeah. Wow. I know. I'm actually off back off to Eurovision after I fin finish Adelaide Fringe, off to, off to Lisbon, Portugal, with um, Miff Warhurst um, to uh, take Jessica Malboy, who's representing us this year. Yay, fun times. Yeah. Bit of J Mal. So some big things happening for you in 2018. Yeah. Yes. Um, I am. I'm just kind of looking for world domination. I want to be like Australia's Oprah. Um, I don't know if I'll achieve that by the end of 2018. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun year. I'm. I'm already preferring it to last year, particularly being an ambassador. You I've never need to done that before. An album. I think wow, I, you know, I was just on Neighbours. So now that I, I've been on, I yeah, I was, you just were the slut. I was the slut on Neighbours. So yeah. now that I've been on Neighbours, I feel like I need to release an album a la Kylie Minogue, or I could just release one single like Holly Valance and then just marry a billionaire. I love it, <laughs> guys. Blonde bombshell happening here in Adelaide for the yes. Adelaide Fringe. Check it out through the Fringe website. And I promise I'll be standing in the show. I won't be sitting on this thing. We have been with the glorious Joel Creasy. Make sure you come out, support Fringe, come and see Joel's show. You've been watching Scene TV. I'm Marcus. Joel, see ya. See you later.